I'm so excited! Miss Universe candidates have already started arriving in Thailand. And I've been researching for all the photos, but I just couldn't find any. I mean, there are a few photos of arrivals in, you know, some prominent uh, pageant sites like uh, GB and Miss Sociology and, you know, some other newbies, but uh, I really want to have all as much as possible so that I could give a fair, more balanced insight on who's got the best outfit, who's got the best arrival outfit, <laughs> who shines the brightest, who gave a surprising appearance. You didn't really expect that she would come out that way, you know, as strong as the front runners. And who are those front runners? Well, some of the girls, particularly those who are on top of the game since day one, have, how do you call this, disappointed me in a way. All right, so before we go to that portion, let me show you some of the photos of Miss Universe 2018 candidates as they arrived one by one to one of the best cities in the world. I've been there. I worked there. Remember? Bangkok, Thailand. Let's go. Choosing the best arrival outfit, or to be specific, best airport arrival outfit, is, you know, subjective. It is based on my personal preferences, which are greatly influenced by my color and style choices. How I would like to project myself as I arrive as a queen and representative of my country to Bangkok International Airport. Some might like jeans and boots. Some prefer a blouse and a skirt combination. Me, I would prefer something which is a little bit long or, you know, jumpsuit pegs or some stylized 
designs here and there, and of course the way they carry it. Just like, you know, just like in a competition. It is already a competition. <laughs> That's why we're choosing the best of the best. It is already the start of the competition. The moment they stepped into that grand arrival arena, then that's the start of the competition. Everybody's eyes already on them. So, without further ado, here they are. My top 10 favorites for best arrival outfit for Miss Universe 2018. Let's go. Please hang up and try again. Now, who gave surprises and who came out as disappointments? Now, day two, day three is a little bit different from their first day in, in uh, Thailand, starting from the arrival scene, because they now already have this uh, bonding moments which have given them uh, enough confidence they were already socialized with each other and uh, and they were given this stylings, you know, hair and makeup from the sponsors. So that would be another story. This time, we're going to focus on day one. That first impression that they created, that first moment that they have been with, you know, other candidates for the very first time, that they were photographed side by side. Like four front runners, three front runners in one single photo. So that's quite interesting. So I'm about to give you now my thoughts and what I have seen during that very first day. Seeing all these gorgeous candidates, the best of the best in Thailand together. Now let's start with the disappointments. First, 